It is. It's the first time we've been to the exhibition. It's quite exciting because we wanted to get to a certain type of person. I can say that in this room are exactly the kind of people we want to get well, to. So open banking is an enabler for Slide. For many, many years, the only digital channels we've been able to consume are those that are delivered by our bank. Now suddenly we have a difference. The very simple premise of open banking is you can service your bank using a third party solution. That brings in products like Slide. What it means is we can take all that data inside the bank that's already there now, the balances, but also take out a lot of regular data, direct debit standing orders, aggregate that with other data, and we can give the consumer a completely different view. We give them yesterday, today, and then more importantly, tomorrow and beyond. As I said before, open banking is the enabler. What I think we're doing is, is we're making that data a commercial proposition. So opening up for the open banking APIs, we're at 3.1 now. That API's got a lot of data in it. What we're doing is something different than the rest. We're not aggregating and telling people what they have spent. We're giving them the chance to be able to plan their financial future. And the biggest issue we're addressing is we're giving a commercial proposition. So we can identify lending for banks. Now we can build that relationship between banks. We can give them the chance to be proactive about finding lending and finding cash flow positions and helping people manage their cash. So we're trying to put a commercial angle on what is a technical delivery at the moment, a technical standard. I think the biggest thing you're going to see is a complete change in lending. At the moment, the way that lending is uh, scored under it is the way that we say what people's history is. We say what's their credit rating, what's their balance sheet look like in a business. We'll now have the chance to do behavioural lending. So we can look at the way people spend money over a two or three month period and we can then make an assessment on when they can afford it instead of using old data metrics. The other big thing we can see for me, the most important drive forward we get in this is there's an open banking ecosystem coming. So what we end up with is the consumer has one point of entry for their digital banking, but they can do so much more. Point of sale transactions, data listed with transactions, your Tesco shop telling you all the things you bought on your bank statement if you wanted to see it. It's been around for a while, but very fragmented. Open banking will give us an aggregated ecosystem of data. That's the most exciting thing about it.